All right, we're gonna start with the lamb because we need to get the lamb on the fire. Now, I didn't ship this awesome grill from Astoria Queens for nothing. I'm gonna put one on here with live charcoal, and I'm gonna actually put one on the gas grill on the rotisserie there, and we'll see how we can compare them, see how, how it goes. All right, so we're gonna start by making our marinade. And I'm actually gonna start with some, some white wine, some fresh lemon juice. We're gonna have a nice sort of heavy garlic flavor here. So what I'm doing here is I'm crushing the garlic and it's gonna break up the skin so it's easy for the garlic to actually come out of the skin. Okay? And we're just gonna pop it right into our blender. Okay, so we have a bunch of garlic in there. Now, rosemary is a very strong herb, but we want that. We want, we want some strong flavors on our lamb, okay? And then we have some fresh oregano. I don't have an oregano bush. I mean, to me, oregano is the most prevalent fresh herb when it comes to Greek food. All right, and then some Greek olive oil. I'm gonna take my zester and zest away. Can't have enough lemon. Some black pepper. Let's blend this up. Okay, so I'm gonna take half of it and marinate the lamb, and then save half of it and baste it while it's cooking. Okay, so this is a butterfly um, leg of lamb that's boneless. I asked the butcher to take the bone out. I mean, you can roast a leg of lamb with the bone in, but I think for the rotisserie, I don't think you want the bone in because it won't be able to spin on the rotisserie. I'm gonna season this with salt and pepper on both sides. This is a dense piece of meat, so don't be afraid to season it really well. And I'm gonna take my marinade and pour the marinade right over it. And really get the marinade in there. You really want to let this marinate at least for about eight hours or, you know, even better, overnight. It's really just going to soak up all this flavor. After it marinates, I actually want to tie it so that it cooks nice and evenly. Okay, so first of all, just want to make sure it's, you know, nice and uniform. And then we're going to roll it up like a log, just like that. Okay, I'm going to start by going underneath it here and then just sort of creating a foundation knot right here. All right, and then we're just gonna, I put my finger in here to create the spacing. There we go, just like that. Okay, that's what you wanna see. Let's get this on the rotisserie. So it's nice right in the middle. Just clamped it on both sides, and now this is gonna spin. Just make sure you keep uh, you know, adding charcoal so, that it, so it gets nice and hot. All right, I'm also gonna do one on the gas grill. So again, we're gonna start with the clamps. All right, put this on the, on the gas grill. All right. There we go. Gas, charcoal. New school, old school. Both are the same lamp, so we'll see what happens. So this took about two hours to cook. Then we let it rest right on the rotisserie there. This has a really beautiful crust on the outside from all that, the basting. And you want to slice this very thinly. This is what I like to do when nobody's looking. So much flavor. Really moist, tender, mm, beautiful. And then we're gonna take our, our red wine lemon vinaigrette and just pour it right over there for some, uh, for some extra moisture, and it's really gonna bring out the flavor there. You know, what I do is I just rip off a little bit of this pita, grab some lamb. I'm so happy right now, because I'm about to eat this. Some of the tzatziki, that might be the perfect plate of food. It's gonna light up your taste buds, and you're gonna feel great afterwards. What's better than that? But the coup de gras, or however you say it in Greek, <laughs> is the lamb. Mm. Unreal.